My name is Wayne Mihailo. I wanted to, to join the, the, the Navy and, and much like my wife, uh, go to the Naval Academy and, and really to defend the freedoms of, of our populace. Wayne and I met when uh, I was deployed to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. And uh, now I've been married for nearly 18 years and have two children that we love and adore. My name is Obed Escobar and I am a pastor here in Phoenix. I have the privilege to work with people from different cultures, mostly with the Latino community here in Phoenix. My name is Jillian Smith, and I am a freshman vocal performance major at Arizona State University. My name is Greg Fraley. I am the Vice President of Business Affairs for an aluminum extrusion company. Uh, Robert Semple, I'm a certified public accountant, and uh, I think the best way my faith impacts my business is the ability to share with a client my faith and prayer. I want my kids to have a solid foundation, and if I'm going to send them someplace for eight hours a day, it's very important to me as a parent to make a choice that whatever I say is most important is backed up by the school as well. The parents um, have every right to educate their kids in the way that they see fit, but we need people to not be told by one organization or some overarching organization other than the Lord himself where, how we should educate our children or what we should be teaching them. I remember the excitement I felt when I knew I was coming to the States, and I remember on the plane, I was sharing my excitement with a gentleman for the United States because of what this country stands for, which is God and freedom. And I will never forget what he told me. He said, welcome to the battlefield. At the moment, I did not understand what he meant, but it didn't take too long since I realized that we are in a battle here in the United States. We are losing our our religious freedom, our, our, our freedom to, to express ourselves, our freedom to, to enjoy everything that God has given us. And I feel that it's our responsibility to do something about it. I don't think we live in a culture that allows us to completely, you know, freely live out our faith. We do have that freedom, but I think we run into a lot of um, roadblocks. Faith and life go hand in hand. But one of the largest concerns that I have today uh, in America is the possibilities of those freedoms becoming more and more suppressed. My father started the business that I'm in today because the Lord directed his path to do so. And as I look towards the future, I ha do have concerns about what are the opportunities for my kids and my grandkids to run a business to serve in the workplace the way God calls them to. It's hard for me to believe today that in America, we have to fight the battle for religious freedom. And fortunately, we have been able to fight these battles because of CAP. My wife and I support CAP because we believe in the work that, that CAP does. I stand behind CAP because I feel like they're out there fighting battles for me. And I really appreciate CAP giving me the opportunity to be an influencer in my society when I just don't have the time to do the legwork myself. I cannot imagine, you know, living in Arizona without having CAP. And I am proud to be able to say I stand with them as a Hispanic, as a pastor, as an American citizen. I stand with Center for Arizona Policy because they focus on the issues that not only I care about, but that God cares about. He cares about life. He cares about marriage and he cares about our ability to worship him in all that we do. Those are the three issues that CAP stands on. How was I as a Christian? How could I not stand behind those?